I'm here with a CTN member highlight for Winter Kids, and I'm here with the Executive Director, Julie Mulkern, to talk about their upcoming fundraiser, ski fundraiser on Mount Abrams. Uh, what is it called? It's called the Downhill 24. Downhill 24. It's the second annual. Um, we actually switched it. The first inaugural event was called the Downhill Derby, which was fun, um, but we thought the Downhill 24 was more indicative of the actual race and what we were doing because it is a 24-hour ski challenge. Yeah, and, and what's involved with it? How do people raise money by, by doing this, and what is it actually? Um, individuals can sign up um, either by themselves or as a team. The teams can be up to 12 members. Um, we have both corporate teams and regular individual teams. It's a $100 entry fee, um, and that entry fee gets you 24 hours of skiing, hopefully in beautiful weather. Um, a t-shirt, a race bib, lots of entertainment and food throughout the 24 hours. And each, in addition to the entry fee, each individual can set up a fundraising page. So a personal or a team fundraising page and their friends and family can donate um, in honor of their 24 hour ski challenge and all of the money goes to Winter Kids. So the idea of it is that each team, somebody on each team skis consistently for 23 hours because it's during the time change. Right? Yes, um, we like that part of it. Um, it you know, p the t-shirts last year said, um, I participated in the downhill derby and I skied for 24 hours in just 23, ask me how. <laughs> so the event is always during daylight savings, which is a nice little twist to the event. But, you know, teams can participate in any way that they like. It is, people were much more competitive last year than we thought um, they would be, which made it fun. Um, but it doesn't need to be a competition. It's a friendly race. It really is about raising money um, for Winter Kids programs. But people can configure their team however they want. So some people will ski for three hours straight, then someone else takes a shift through the night um, or the early morning hours, whoever that lucky person <laughs> happens to be. Or um, as long as there's a team member on the mountain, um, one team person on the mountain at a time, that's all that, that really matters. We're and pretty flexible with the rules. How many years have you been doing this? This is only year two. Oh, okay. um, so in year one, we weren't sure, um, you know, undertaking a 24-hour race is a huge thing. Yeah. It's the only only event of its kind in Maine in the winter, and um, other states have done it, and it was really the brainchild of a couple of our board members, one being the former general manager of Mount Abram. So that's really how this event came about, and we weren't sure how it would go in year one, but it surpassed all of our expectations, and we raised $45,000 for Winter Kids. $45,000, that's excellent. Um, I anticipate probably doubling that this year, which Oh, is really? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Because the you know, other people will be coming back. Absolutely. And this, of course, will get more people to come out. Um, what role does Mount Abrams play in it? What are they? What are they been wonderful as an event host. Um, they are donating all of the lift tickets in kind for the 24 hours. Um, we anticipate having about 300 participants this year, so it's a huge undertaking for them. We offer um, 24 hours of staff and volunteer support, but the Mount Abram crew is there for the 24 hours running the mountain both for event participants and people outside of the event that are just there to ski for the weekend. Also, other things are going on that same weekend. Absolutely. Still There's two, you know, they, they're running their tubing park still, um, which we encourage kids of, of participants to, um, to do while they're there with their families, and there are other skiers enjoying the mountain. I imagine the hardest part of it is the overnight time when there's nobody, no ski <laughs> lines and you have to get right up and come down and you're tired. Um, it was, last year was unbelievable. Again, not having done it before, um, the first time was really, interesting to see what would happen and people were real troopers there were people skiing throughout the night there were people sleeping on tables in the lodge um, people tented out in March it was it was fun to see and we have lots of things to keep them happy including live music and um, we have a card reader a caricature artist movies late night movies in the lodge so people have a lot of things going on so forty five thousand dollars forty five thousand Wow Winter Kids, what do they do with that money? What is Winter Kids all about? Just so people know in case they don't. Um, w winter Kids is really about all about getting kids outside and active in the winter and really year round. Um, winter is certainly our brand, but we'd like kids to be active um, 365 days a year. Um, it's all about reaching kids at the youngest age possible, so they're building these habits, healthy habits of being outdoor and active. Um, you know, as well as I do, that there are a lot of competing priorities now with kids being outside, screen time, video games, stranger danger, many things. Um, you know, when I was a kid, you had to be told to come back inside 
you know, when it was time to eat and go to bed, and it's just not that way anymore. Kids are really much more sedentary, and particularly in the winter, and we're trying to make sure they're getting outside. If people want to have more information about this or sign up or whatever, what do they do? Where do they go? They can just go to winterkids.org, and all the information is on our site. Um, they can learn much more about all of our programs and head straight to the Downhill 24 page if they are brave enough to ski for 24 hours straight. Great. Well, thanks a lot. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks.